All right, well, hello, friend. Dave McDonald here, ready for another exciting edition of Quarantunes, drawing cartoons with Dave McDonald. That's me. <laughs> I hope you're doing great today. Okay, so we're going to get some warm ups going here. I normally have a little sheet that says warm ups, don't I? Okay, and again, to warm up, I like to use those simple shapes. Loosen up the wrist, the hand. Get used to drawing those simple shapes. Remember those simple shapes? Circles, ovals, even triangles. We use a lot of simple shapes in our drawings, so it's good to practice them. All right, little shout out today. I wanted to shout out and say hello to my friends in Raleigh, North Carolina, the United Arts Council of Raleigh and Wake County. Great group of people, big organization. They do a lot of fantastic work bringing artists and arts programming into the schools in Raleigh. So I'd like to say hey to Miss Julia. She's very helpful to myself and to other artists. And Miss Reagan, hey, I hope you're, hope you're both doing well. I know this is a difficult time. You're probably working from home as well, right? But you're doing a fantastic job as usual and I look forward to seeing you every year in August. Hopefully we'll be together this year. All right, I think I'm warmed up. So today what we're going to draw, I thought, and I always get this as a request when I go into a school. For some reason, it's just a popular character. The unicorn. <laughs> a unicorn. Have you ever seen a unicorn? Uh, maybe, maybe in a TV show or maybe Maybe in a book, right? But they're fun to draw. Um, of course, you know me, I'm not going to draw a normal unicorn. No, 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 that, that would be far too easy and boring for me. So we're gonna draw a unicorn, but we're gonna give it a little different. We're gonna give it a little Mr. Dave flair. Okay, so grab your pencil. Let's start with a very, uh, an, I think a circle shape here would start off nice for the head. All right, maybe make off of that circle shape just a little curved line like that. Okay, and then bring that, start at that end of that curved line and make another little curved line. And bring that up to the circle, okay? Bring that up to the circle. Okay, so that will form the basis of what the head will become. The neck of the character, basically just do this. Two straight lines that come off the back side of this circle, okay? And these are just rough shapes. We might, the shape of the character might change a little as we keep going. The leg shapes, we're just gonna do, just do oval shapes like this. Oval, oval to get started. And we'll add, let's see, the tail, big swooping tail. Something like that, right? All right, I think, I think this is enough to get us started. All right. Basic shapes. All right, so let's see here. Let's add in what will become a big eyeball right here with an oval shape. And maybe the snout here with a little upside down letter U for a nostril. Let's see, ears, let's do, let's just do little triangle shaped ears. Magical unicorn ears, right? And of course we're gonna have the unicorn part up there. Let's see, how about a swoop of hair that comes down, maybe even covers part of the eyeball. So that swoop of magical unicorn hair. And then of course they've got a big mane of hair like, uh, let's see here. Let's start maybe on the top, swoop it down like this. And another swoop. And one more swoop. And the fun thing about unicorns with these different swoops of hair, you can color them different. Unicorns are very colorful, aren't they? All right, 
right? So there we go with that. Uh, well, legs will kind of round off the bottom, flatten them a little bit at the bottom. And on the other side, maybe we'll see just a hint of the other legs on the other side of the character, right? But that's basically what our character will look like. Let's start to ink this character. We're not going to draw in the unicorn horn yet. Remember I said I had something special planned for that. <laughs> Let's see what that is, right? Okay, swoop of hair. Swoop of hair, just like that. Ears. That. Okay, the snout. And now it looks like I shortened his nose a little, so where his nostril is, I might want to shift that over this way just a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Okay. And maybe he's, we'll do a smile like this. Just to add a smile in, just like that. See how we did that? All right, here we go. More hair. That big colorful mane. Well, you can color it. One there. There, and one final one right there. All kinds of colorful. Let's do this. Let's give our character a little bit of cheek. And the pupil. Leave that white circle in the pupil for the little reflection. Okay. And let's see. Come bring it down. Bring it down here. And again, these feet. Could do this to indicate the hooves, right? That's kind of fun. Belly, back, feet. See, again, just simple shapes, really. Maybe shade this in on the other side. There's the body of the characters causing a little shadow on that far leg. Just a little bit. All right, the body of the back side of the character. See, I went around a couple times that time to thicken up that line. Okay, and then the tail. And you could color the tail different rainbow colors as well, right? This is looking kind of fun so far. Let's draw in a horizon line standing somewhere. Magical land, right? And now it's time. Remember what the unicorn horn looks like, except this is not an average unicorn. This Let's see if I start drawing it, if you'll recognize what I'm going to put here. Two lines like that. Did you guess what it is yet? I'm waiting to see if you can guess. You know it's going to be silly if it's something that I drew. That's right. 
It's a unicorn dog. <laughs> a unicorn dog. That makes me laugh. Maybe give it some spots. Make it look delectable as all corn dogs are, right? A unicorn dog. I'll have to write that down here. Unicorn dog. <laughs> How fun is that? That's kind of different, wouldn't you say? Make a little flower here. <laughs> you could even put, let's put our little favorite cloud in the sky. Maybe some from the word unicorn come up like this and go to the cloud with some lines. And what do you think what that is? Again, you could grab your colored pencils and make that a rainbow. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go over it now and just erase the pencil lines that we started with just to clean it up a little bit. All right, get rid of some of the simple shapes that we used to make our drawing. That was kind of fun, though. We used ovals and circles and straight lines, curved lines. Unicorn dog. <laughs> you knew it couldn't just be a normal picture, right? If it was something that I made. And there you have it. A one of a kind. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed drawing your unicorn. Maybe instead of putting the corn dog on it, you actually put a unicorn horn on it. Maybe you did that. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Not everyone's as silly as I am. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you next time. Take care, be well, and until next time, take care of one another.